In this video, we're going to go ahead and transfer the weights from our original objects to the objects that we'll actually be using in game using our ab weight lifter script. This is kind of a process, so pay attention, follow closely. <laughs> so to get started, first we're going to go ahead and hide our low poly object. I also like to leave the wireframe unshaded so it's not confusing visually. And we're going to go ahead and unhide our low poly game object. This is the one that we're going to keep. And this is the one that has the deleted faces on the body. So let's go ahead and select and we'll work with our low poly game object first. I'll select it, then I'll select the NIF skeleton and I'm going to select bind pose. I'm going to go ahead and bind the skin. And I'm also going to go ahead and add all of the influences to it. So I'll press the plus button here while holding down shift, select the NIF skeleton, scroll down to the bottom, select this one here at the very bottom, and I'm going to go ahead and hold down control and select our game object, our outfit, and add those influences to it. Now while I have them all selected, I'm also going to select our low poly original outfit object, the quad based one, and I'm going to add all the influences back to it. I probably should have just left them on it the whole time, never took them off. But I'll go ahead and add the influences to it so they both have all the influences on the body on them. Now, this is important, and I don't know why this has to happen before you run the Ab Weightlifter. You have to do at least one copy, right, using the one to one. So we'll select our low poly, then we'll select our low poly game object, the triangulated one, and we'll do a copy weights. Remember to make sure you select the quad first, then select the one you want to copy to. It's always that order. The one with the skin, the one you want to copy the skin to, and then you click the copy skin weights. So now that's taken care of. Now we're going to go ahead and run our weight transfer. So we'll click the AB weight lifter and we'll bring this over. Now our source is of course our quad base, the low poly, the original. So click the source. Now the destination will be the triangulated object, the new one that we're going to be using. This is our destination. Now you can see they have every bone on the skeleton on them. Go ahead and click auto connect influences that will connect all of them and then go ahead and click copy weights. Now that copied pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and close this out. I like to close it out first and then we're going to do the same thing with the body. So now with the body selected, I'm going to select the Jane bot HD outfit. This is the one where we deleted faces on. I'm going to go up to the top I'm going to hold down control, select the Nef skeleton, go ahead and bind the skin. So click bind skin. Then I'm going to, with the Nif skeleton selected, select it and then go all the way down hold down shift and select the last one then hold down control and select your jamebot hd outfit now we're going to click add influences and while i'm at it i'll go ahead and add all the influences to our original jamebot hd game all right so go ahead and click add the influences so now they both have all the influences in and again we have to select the jamebot hd game hold down control select our Jamebot HD outfit and run a copy skin weights to it. I don't know why that has to happen, but if you don't do that, sometimes the weights don't get transferred right. So let's go ahead and open up the AB weight lifter. We'll select our source, which is the original game object without deleted faces. Then we'll select the one with deleted faces, set it as our destination. Then we'll go ahead and click auto connect influences. It'll connect all the influences for the entire skeleton that are weighted to. And we'll go ahead and click copy weights. Now I'm going to warn you, this takes a while because the body is HD. Typically, especially if you're using CBBE, that's a very HD body. It takes a while to transfer those weights. So go ahead and click copy weights. Okay, and it's all done copying this, those weights. So I'll go ahead and click close. Now let's test to make sure that the weights actually did get copied correctly. So we'll come up to show and we will unhide our joints and make sure you have shading X-ray joints turned on so you can see those bones. Go ahead and select one of the bones, hit E on the keyboard and go ahead and rotate. And as you can see, the weights copied over perfectly. And this is the important area to check is where that texture seam is because that got split when we exported this with Figment's plugin. So it's kind of important that you can see that that got fixed. All right, so it is fixed. The body is also weighted. I'll put it back in the bind post, go up to modeling, rigging, go to skin, Go to bind pose, make sure that it's right back where it belongs. And now we're actually ready to export this to Outfit Studio. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll come up here, minimize the skeleton. We're going to select the Jamebot HD outfit. First, we're going to do a remove unused influences. Give it a second. You can look right down here to see when it's done. And it said it removed 93 unused bones. Now select your low poly game, the outfit, 
and also remove any unused influences. It removed 116. Now we'll select this one, this one, and we'll select the NIF skeleton, and we'll say File, Export Selection. We'll go to our desktop, and this is our outfit game ready. Okay, so we'll go ahead and export this selection. Again, make sure your units are set to centimeters. You'll be able to see it's grayed out. I have it on automatic, it says centimeters. Go ahead and click Export Selection. Now when you export it, make sure you have all three of them selected and you said File Export Selection. Another thing to note, and I'm just throwing this out there in case you run into an error when you're exporting and it says something about bones missing from a bind pose, if that ever happens to you, select the skeleton. Go down here to the lower right-hand corner. You'll see that two brackets with that colon. We're going to open our script editor. You type in DAG, pose with a capital P. You type in dash BP, that's bind pose, dash save. All right, and then you hit a semicolon. Then you come up here and you click execute. What that does is it creates a new bind pose with the bones in their current position. And you can go ahead and close the script editor, come up to display, uncheck DAG only objects, and you can see that it created bind pose two when we ran that. So we want to delete bind pose one because bind pose one is now the old bind pose. You would delete that. That's only if when you export an error pops up saying, oh, something happened with the, these bones are missing from the bind pose. Run that dag pose dash pp dash s semicolon and it'll fix it but also delete the old bind pose. And you can go to your channel box editor, select the skeleton, and there should never be more than one bind pose. Okay, right now I have bind pose two on there. There should never be bind pose one, bind pose two, bind pose three. All the old ones need deleted and you'd only have bind pose three. So always make sure there's only one. So that's all there is to that. In the next video, we're gonna go ahead and import our model into Outfit Studio and export it as a NIF file. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post below the video and click subscribe to follow us on YouTube.